Hi everyone. This week we're starting a new book, The Book of Bamidbar. And The Book of Bamidbar is all about their travels in the wilderness, in the desert. So we know in the Book of Ayikra we spoke a lot about um, Harasinai and getting the Torah and building the Mishkan, that was the main focus. And you'd think that Bamidbar carries on from there, that, you know, now we've got the Torah, we've got the Mishkan, we know where we're going, we're going to Eretz Yisrael, that would just start our journey. You'd think the opening lines in Bamidbar would be something along the lines of, and they journeyed and they started wandering around getting to Eretz Yisrael. But that's not the case. What happens first are two things. Moshe is told to take a census of all the Jewish people according to their tribe. So how many people are there in each tribe? And the next thing he's told is exactly how all the people are meant to camp, again, according to their tribe. So the exact arrangement when they're camping and when they're traveling, where each tribe should be positioned. You'd think, you know, they're all going to the same place. Why not just go? Who cares where you're standing? Does that really make such a difference? What, if you know where you're going, why can't you just start going? So it got me thinking that often, you know, you ask a five-year-old or a six-year-old, what do you want to be when you're older? And when we're five or six, often we'll respond straight away, unhesitatingly. We know exactly who we are and what we're going to be. I'm going to be a fireman, or I'm going to be a doctor, or I'm going to be a teacher. You know, without even giving it a moment's thought, we just know that's what we're going to be. And as you get older, you start to make decisions about things that will affect who you're going to be or what you're going to be, you know, which subjects you study, what degree you do. And as you get older and older, you realise you know less and less, or you're less sure about exactly what it is that you are going to do, or what you're meant to be, or, you know, where you're really going in life. And it can take a really long time, you know, you might be in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s or your 50s before you finally work out actually what you're doing with yourself. You know, we're very convinced when we're younger that we know exactly what we're doing, and then we get less and less sure of ourselves as we get older, because we realise there's a lot more to it. And I think this is similar to what's going on here. You can't just start a journey. You need to know really where you're going and who you are. And you need to look at your surroundings, you know, who, who's accompanying you on your journey. So when Moshe counts the people, he counts them in two ways. It's not just who they are as individuals, how many people there are, and everybody gets counted, everyone counts. There's no one who gets missed out everyone is important, but also who they are in regard to which tribe they belong to. You know, who are they surrounded by? Which tribe do they belong to? And who are their tribes on either side? Who are their neighbours? Who are they choosing to put around themselves? So I think this is also really important for us in everyday life. You know, sometimes we get very caught up in just moving and doing. And, you know, we're so busy every day with all the little things that need to get done. We very rarely take the chance to actually think about, well, actually, you know, what, where am I going to? What am I so busy with? Am I actually utilizing all the gifts that I personally have? In the Jewish people, I am an individual and I'm also part of a community. There are things that I need to achieve myself and there are things that I can contribute to those around me and I'm unique in that sense. The gifts that I personally have been given are unique to me. There's no other person like me in the whole world. So we need to actually take a moment to think, well, what are those talents? What are those gifts? What is unique about each and every one of us? And that will help us to actually work out where we're going to, what our journey is. And yes, we do need to keep moving and to do things, but it's important to take those moments along the way to, before we go rushing off, to actually take the time and think, what is it that I can do? What is it that I'm here to do? Why was I created? What, what can I achieve? And is the direction that I'm going currently the direction I'm meant to be going in? Or, you know, should I now start to veer off and do something different? Maybe there's a better way. Maybe there are people around me that I haven't noticed. Maybe that can contribute to what I'm doing or that I can contribute to what they're doing. So I think that's one of the really nice messages from this week's Hedra, that we are individuals and we have a unique set of gifts. 
and that everyone counts when you're to doing a census. There's no one that gets missed out. But at the same time, we're part of a tribe and we're part of our surroundings and we need to work out how we fit into that before we even really start making um, a way into our journey. So I hope that helps any of you who are thinking about what you're doing or where you're going, or if you're not thinking about it, maybe you can start thinking about it. And I know that this week we've all been very much distracted by what's going on in Israel and thinking a lot about what's going on there. So I really hope that our week improves and that we start to hear good news. And our thoughts and our tefillas are very much with everyone there. And I hope everyone stays well and safe and has a good, a good week and a good job.